Hello, hello. Welcome back. It's Salem. Today, I'm not gonna waste any time. Listen, we have a mission. Peanut finally moved out. Thank God. She has been terrorizing me for weeks now. She decided to autofill a plot, even though I thought I had banished her aura from it. But you know what? It's fine. And um, I've been trying to kick her out. I've been trying to force her to leave with violence. However, unfortunately, I couldn't do that until today. Today is Christmas Day, actually. It is December 25th. Also, let's check the fit real quick because are you kidding me? Purple plaid. D are we seeing them? And the stockings and the boots. Seriously. Really. On this fine day. I was fully not standing in the middle of the screen. It's fine. We are going to be looking for anyone I like at all. Anyone in general. Um, if I like them, they're coming home. That's about it. I got the purple going for some good luck. I reset my cash, which I don't even know if that actually works, but it's worked every time I've done it to get me better villagers, or new villagers at least, not necessarily better. So I'm hoping that this time, Cyrano will not be anywhere near me. If Cyrano comes near me, the villager hunt ends. I'm sorry, like we're just done. I'm amiiboing in Shino. We're not doing this anymore, you know? It's not gonna happen. Who we got on our first ticket? Who is hiding from me right now? Oh my god, it's- This man is stalking me. He's after me. He's a mob boss. He has a hit out on my head because I'm threatening to him. I'm exposing him to the internet right now. There's photographic evidence of his existence right now, and he's scared of that. He's not a fan of that, and he has put a gun in my head, unfortunately. So, thank you, Marlo. I'm gonna leave. If you come near me again, I'm calling Copper and Booker. We are not doing this. Marlo is going to hell, first of all. Marlo is in the mafia. Marlo ate my children. Marlo hates me personally. Marlo chopped my hair off in my sleep. I hate him. I'm currently planning a trip, which if you want to know, if you've never planned a trip before, which I haven't, this is my first time ever doing it, even though like I'm a living person. I should have planned a trip before in my life, but I haven't. I'm trying to plan a trip to Portland, and the issue with that is that I don't know how to do that. So I've been trying to get a good hotel, which is impossible by the way. It is impossible because they're expecting me to pay like 200 a night for a hotel, for a hotel in Oregon, just to see my beautiful friends. Are you kidding me? That is extortion, I believe, personally. Who do we have? Who is that? Wait, is that Sally? Did I leave my vaulting pole at home? That's fully not Sally. Like, I know for- hold on. Well, I left my vaulting pole at home like an idiot because I was so hellbent. Oh, it's Tabby. Alright, that makes more sense. I left my vaulting pole at home because I'm dumb. I was in a hurry. I was trying to be like all on top of it and just get going instead of rambling for an hour. But look what I'm doing, huh? Look what I'm doing. Anyway, planning a trip is impossible because like, first of all, I have to find a good flight date, right? And flights are expensive as all hell. I'm sorry, you want me to pay you that much money? Dodo Airlines will do it for a single Nook Miles ticket, are you kidding me? Like, they will fly me across the country to a deserted island that nobody knows the whereabouts of. Like, are you gonna do that, Delta? Are you gonna do that, Delta Airlines? Are you? Are you gonna do it in 10 seconds flat? Hmm? No, exactly. So why are you charging me $200 for it is my question. And like, also, I'm kind of terrified to go on a trip out of state because I've really not done that in years because I don't leave my house. I actually am a chronic pain patient, if you didn't know that. If you did, good on you for knowing the trivia. Also, what do you think of my living room? It looks better, right? There we go. Got the vaulting pool. It looks a lot better, right? How cute. But I am a chronic pain patient, so I honestly don't go anywhere normally. Like, I truly am not going anywhere most of the time. So, traveling out of the state is kind of scary to me, but I actually yearn for human interaction so much that I'm willing to get on a plane and go do that. So, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm trying to get my flights and plane tickets booked, which is hard, and I wouldn't recommend it. I had to figure out what a like two-star, three-star, four-star hotel means, which is absolutely a bonkers system because I thought it meant like reviews at first. It doesn't. It means amenities, which is dumb. Like I just want a bed. 
I just want a covered roof. <laughs> I don't need a pool or a fitness center. God knows I'm not going to either of those in fucking February. I don't understand the system. I would like to understand the system a little bit better at least. I think I think they should redo it personally because what the hell? A three-star hotel sounds like shitty. Like I wouldn't buy a three-star product on Amazon, right? So like why would I go to a three-star hotel? But if you want to go to a five-star hotel, it's like $500. Absolutely insane. This ranking system, stupid. I don't like it. I don't understand it. I wish I did. That's a hippo, isn't it? Yep. Thank you so much, Bubbles. I actually didn't ask. I don't know you. You don't know me. We have never met before. And I didn't want to see you. I'm not really in the mood for this, actually. Like, I am wearing the purple plaid, so you might want to, like, get out of my way. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to, but you might want to. My dog is dreaming right now. He's making little baby noises. My son. He's just my little son. We got him some toys for Christmas because listen a very silly man making very silly little baby noises which everyone should make a very silly little baby noise every once in a while i feel like every time i record i make at least five very silly little baby noises and i have to you know edit them out which is very fun who is here <gasps> bianca okay she's an interesting subject because i kind of hate her and i kind of like her too like i think she's a baddie i think she's really cool but she's a snitch obviously she's kind of a rat bastard you know like i love her but do i like would i be friends with her do i love her do i love the idea of her you know i feel like it's more the latter because everybody loves the idea of bianca everybody loves the thought of bianca but if bianca gets on your island it's just kind of like mm, you know i better find someone quickly or i'm gonna go like crazy i'm gonna go bonkers every time i film a villager hunt i'm always like so hyped up at the beginning and then i start actually doing it and it's like mm, i don't know i don't know if i'm enjoying this but i do enjoy getting to talk to you guys no matter what because i think it's so much fun my last video that i did touring amanda's dream address actually got like super good reception for what i normally do not in the grand scheme of things but for like me it was pretty good and pretty fast reception which was so nice to feel like it was it was so cool to think that like what i was making was actually getting heard you know I don't know, I just like the idea of that. I think that's so fun. One of these times I'm gonna get to like name one of these villager hunts. Found a dreamy in 10 tickets. Um, it's looking like it's not gonna be this time though because I absolutely don't want Sprocket anywhere near me. He is coming after me. You know when you have a fear as a child but you can't describe it, like it's just, you feel like something's looking at you, that's the guy that's looking at you. He's stalking you. He's been the monster under the bed the whole time. Sprocket? Come on. He has numbers on the back of his head. He's a robot. He's made out of steel. He could peck your eye out if he wanted to. Has he done it yet? No. Does that mean he won't do it in the future? No. He will. I've been playing Let's Go Easy. I got that for Christmas from my beautiful grandmother. And it's so much fun, but I realized that I physically cannot deal with losing. <laughs> I'm fully out here resetting every two seconds every time I like don't catch a pokemon i'm like if i don't get it on the first try it counts as losing and i will not tolerate that so i've reset the game like 20 times and it looks like i've only played six hours on it who is that oh my god it's dom hi darling he's so cute we gotta go over and say hi to him hi baby are you here for survival training too my name's dom what's yours salem huh and from felina all right, it's cool to meet you. Well, I'm gonna get back to surviving. Let me know if you need help lifting a tree or something, Indeed Brew. I can lift a tree myself, Dom. Leave me alone. He's really cute though. If I wanted a jock, which I don't at all, ever. In my entire life, I've never wanted a jock on my island, actually. I would totally take him, but I don't feel like it. I don't want to. It's so windy outside. I'm surprised nothing has blown over terribly because it's been windy and snowy, but neither in a pretty way. Like, there's no snow sticking. It's just melting into mud, which actually sucks a lot when you have to go outside. Snow is not all it's chalked out to be besties. I was told my entire life when I didn't live in a snowy climate that snow was going to be super fun. It's not. <laughs> it's not at all fun. It's cold and it's damp and it's not fun. It's cute if you're inside, but then the second you have to go outside, it's like, well, this is my life now. I'm stuck in the fucking snow forever. Frankly, okay, how many, how many tickets have I been on? Seven, okay. Can I get a villager in under 10? No, 
Is that Alfonso? I think that's Alfonso. Alfonso, nobody asked. What are you doing all this for? This is like, it's a me man, right? I think so. Nobody asked you to do this and you're doing it for free. And all I can recommend you is at least charge for your services. If you're gonna be a Mario cosplayer, like at least charge for it. I don't, I don't wanna see you taken advantage of like this. And I know you are being taken advantage of because what kind of man goes out here just saying it's a me without being like a little bit broken inside, you know? The only issue though is if I do ever get a villager in like 10 tickets, then my video is gonna be two seconds long fully. Like. Nobody's gonna watch a six minute villager hunt. Villager hunts are meant for like leaving it on the, in the background and doing something else that you don't care much about. That's what a villager hunt is meant for, in my opinion. It might not be for you. Maybe you put like your entire attention on it, but... Okay, I put my entire attention on it. it intention. My entire attention on it if it's one of my friends because I think they're the most entertaining, beautiful human beings on the entire earth. And honestly, if I could, I would live with all of them in a commune. That is just a personal preference. I would like to do that. Who is this? <gasps> Meringue! Uh, okay. Ooh. Not bad. If I wanted a normal, this girl would be perfect. However, I do not want a normal. She's so cute. Look at that little strawberry horn. I'm gonna throw her into the ocean. She's adorable. I think Nintendo has really missed out by not making a meringue plushie. Like, are you kidding me? She's the perfect thing for a plushie. Speaking of plushies, I've been obsessed with the Belzy plushies lately. My beautiful friend Molly got me some Belzy plushies for Christmas. And I have this little piggy. And he is adorable. I've literally been carrying him around with me all day. I just, he's so comforting. He's so cute. But now I want more, which is an issue. Like, it happened with Squishmallows. It'll happen again with some other plushie, all right? Just don't get me a new brand of plushie ever because I will get attached to them and start buying a ton of them. And I really want the Belzy Stingray because it has this stupid little face. There's a stupid little face on the bottom and a stupid little face on top, right? That is my weakness. If it has a stupid little face, I'm gonna go crazy. You're never gonna hear from me again. If it's, you know, like they have the deep sea Squishmallows now, which best thing in the world because I'm a new to break stand. You know, I love sea pigs. You know, I love sea bunnies. Who doesn't? Any person with a soul and a heart loves nudibranchs and then they just basically put out an entire collection of nudibranch squishmallows which is my entire weakness who is that is that a wait <gasps> is that quinn are you kidding me is that quinn oh my god i just got bamboozled i'm a clown boo boo the fool today me yes oh my god it's sterling are you kidding me See, now I'm angry. Like, I really thought that was Quinn and it's Sterling. I hate Sterling. He makes me angry. He definitely would call me a fake fan of, like, something I don't even care much about. I hate him. I hate him. He just punked me so hard. I can't believe it. I was so excited. I thought we were finally gonna do it. I thought we were finally gonna win. And you know what? No, it's Sterling. Ruining my life once again, as he does every single day, as he does every single month, actually. He's never left me alone. From the second I was born, he was on my tail, okay? Sterling, I hate you for that. That was sick. That was a sick prank. Okay, if it's anyone other than a good villager this time, I'm committing a crime. You're about to see me on the news, besties. I swear. Please. Jay, I don't care. He looks scared. And listen, I love a good scared child. I'm not gonna pick up the bottle. I just don't feel like it, by the way. I'm gonna address that now. I'm not gonna pick them up, I don't feel like it. But why would he do this, is my question. Who do you wake up and do this all for? Because if I was Jay, I would work for myself a little bit. I can tell he's not working for himself, and you know why? You know how I can tell? Because he's just, he got no thoughts in that brain. And I'm proud of him, but have those no thoughts for yourself. Be head empty for your own mental health, not for others. Man, I feel like a real YouTuber, like, leaning into the mic. Like, are you kidding me? I'm actually in front of a microphone right now. Crazy. Weird. I'm no longer using the Apple headphones because I'm too cool for them now. I'm kidding. I look like I'm fully in my closet still. I'm never gonna get past the closet thing ever. But like, now I can do ASMR. Now I can tap on the microphone, which I won't do. Oh, it's Boots. I like Boots. He's not a bad alligator. He's kind of cute, but um, not cute enough. Sorry. I actually want Quinn, so... Apparently I can't have that, though, because... 
Wilbur enjoys making me suffer and enjoys inflicting pain on me and that really you know I don't appreciate that I built this island from the ground up I gave him work every single day and what does he do he brings me to hell islands and I don't appreciate that I think that's sick how are we doing we're looking at 11 tickets that's not bad so far and we've already seen meringue there sure was another one though I am so hyper fixated right now on inside by Bo Burnham and it hurts me because I've listened to the album over 12 times in the past two days that is not a lie <laughs> that is like an actual counted number because i've been catting it's so good wait who is that olivia Ooh. okay that's pretty good i don't think i'm gonna take olivia unfortunately i think i'm gonna leave her here but i do love her i think she's so cute she's on my friend vicky's island Vicky at Spantula, by the way, uh, go watch her Pokemon Let's Play. I, I love Olivia. I think she's such a bad bitch, and I wish I could take her, but I already have like a million trillion snooties, and I don't need another one. Even though, if I found a snooty I really had to take, I would consider doing it. I don't know who that would be. I could find someone that is just too good to pass up. I don't know. I don't know. I would also take Roswell if I found him. If I found Roswell, I would take him. Basically, anyone who I just, I feel a connection to, I'll take. But Roswell and Shino and Quinn, maybe a lazy. My eyesight is getting so bad, I really have to go to the eye doctor. Like, I can't see shit. Wait, who we got here? Okay, that's, who is that? Is that Ike? Is that his name? Mike and Ike? I guess I was wrong. When you try your best and you don't succeed, Oh my god, I seriously can't stop listening to Inside, though. It's so bad. First of all, All Eyes on Me is a masterpiece. Second of all, How the World Works is a masterpiece. Third. 30 is a masterpiece. Fourth. That funny feeling is- I think it's gonna be my <laughs> most listened to album of 2022. Which is, you know, I- I don't know what's gonna happen in 2022. I don't know how mentally ill I'm gonna be in 2022, alright? I might be terrible. Watch it be like a Panic at the Disco album and I'll hate myself for 2023, you know? I don't know. Take a shot every time I say no in this video. Filbert! Hi, baby! He's so cute. I have had him on past islands, so I think I'm gonna skip out, but I love him. He's such a good lazy. He's got no thoughts in his head and he's got just the most stunning color. I love him so much. Filbert baby, reach for the stars. I really wish that when they added the new villagers, they added a new personality though, because I am tired of having too many snooties and too many normals on my island because those are the best personalities. I'm sorry, but they are. That's a proven fact. I actually proved it myself, so. Oh, a newbie. Hello, Faith. She is an evangelical Christian. Yep. I can't explain it any further than that. I just know it in my heart and soul. She's a, you know, she's she's watched classically Abby probably. Maybe a little girl to find. Maybe a dash of Paula Morgan. Me reading that off of channels I hate personally. I said I was gonna do an island tour. Do you remember that? Do you remember when I said that? I was actually gonna do it week before last and something happened where I just didn't do it. Um, there's no reasoning for that. I just don't have a brain and I didn't think to do it So I ended up doing other things and I was gonna tour it while it was all decorated for a toy day But now that's over. So I took down my decorations, right? And I just You know now it feels weird. Rowan, I don't want to talk. I know you want to make amends, but I don't want to talk He's terrifying. He actually has stalked me for five years, maybe six years I don't know how long it's been, but he's been after me for a long time. He's terrifying. Can you look Rowan in the eye without being like absolutely scared shitless? I can't, personally. What is wrong with him? We don't know. And I don't want to ask. I really don't. All I want is a restraining order. I'm thinking for maybe my next happy home designer video that I will make me and Ioni a little mansion together. Because if you didn't know, uh, we are in love. According to the terrible daydream I have in my head. I wish you could actually do a roommate thing with one of your villagers, but you can't. Cephalobot, would you leave me alone? I'm looking for another new villager. Look, listen, if you want to live on an island, how about you get waterproof, okay? How about you get waterproof? Look at you. You're full of 
parts that will short circuit if you get pushed into the water. And I could do that. I could push you straight into the water. What would you do, huh? Fizz? Get out of here, you little rat man. I'm so stoked about this outfit, man. I actually, I think I have the code still. So I will make sure it goes in the description. Last time I said, I will put the code in the description for you. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't put it in the description. You know why? Because I lost the code. I lost it. I, I can't believe I lost it. I'm ashamed of myself for losing it, but I lost it. And one of my wonderful, beautiful friends, Sarah, was like, hey, can I have the code? And I was like, sure. I looked and I didn't have it. Sometimes the clown nose gets passed from me to someone else, but it always comes back to me. I'm always the clown in the end. And I have to learn to live with that, and that's why I decided to uh, become an intention whore. Bubbles, I swear to God. You have been in my life for far too long. Listen, I'm about to open a Tory browser and hire a hitman. Don't test me, ma'am. I'm coming for you. We are not gonna do this. Not today, okay? I say that. I've never opened tour before. It's terrifying to me. I don't want to hear any, like, really bad stories, but if you have any, like, lightly bad stories about going on the dark web, I would like to hear them. Or if they're really bad, DM them to me on Instagram. Like, I would like to know because I'm really obsessed with that kind of thing, okay? I love that kind of thing. I was watching, what was I watching the other day? One of Tov's videos on the dark web. Don't watch that kind of stuff if you're super squeamish or anything, or it does have like content in it that's not suitable for some viewers. But I love mystery, conspiracy theory things, lost media, scary stuff, for some reason. Even though I'm easily scared, I do like being scared, you know? For some, like why? I did not design me. I do not know what to say about that, quite frankly. Stu, Stu has been haunting my happy home paradise island for many months now and by that i mean one month because the game has only been out for one month but like he haunts me he wants a vacation home so bad and i refuse to do it because i want my town to be full of cuties okay i want my little archipelago to be filled with cuties and Stu does not fit that bill unfortunately i'm not making him a home not to be superficial but i'm not making him a home if he didn't show up like at the apparel shop or at the cafe or at the restaurant like that would be one thing i would be fine with making them all homes but they have to walk around like i'm gonna have to do my work while they're there and i just don't think that's fair to me to have to look at them i forgot to get water and now my throat is absolutely scratchy as hell like i've been talking for 30 minutes hi lyman bye lyman sprite looking motherfucker you know i have a certain aesthetic i know lyman does too but you know, I would not assume Sprite to be an aesthetic. I'm not, I'm not offended by it. I'm not against it. But Lemon Lime is an interesting idea. And I salute him for that, you know? I salute him for trying something new. He's doing the Lord's work. Y'all ever just sit there, like, pushing buttons on your controller while things are loading? Because I certainly do. Which is definitely a bad idea. Like, don't do that because you're gonna end up forwarding through dialogue or something that you wanted to see. I do that all the time with Pokemon. Oh god. Another hippo? Really? That's offensive. That is actually offensive to me. Why would they keep showing me these men? And also, Bubbles. Bubbles is also offensive to me. I don't know if they understand what they're doing, or that that makes me extremely uncomfortable, but... Huh. Weird. There's no villager here. There's actually no one here. Like, what the... This game must be glitching out so bad. Like, I've never had an island where nobody's there before, but there's just nobody here. Like, there's absolutely no one here. And I think that's kind of shitty of Nintendo to send me to an island that's completely blank, and I do want a refund for my Nook Miles ticket for that. I don't appreciate that. I don't think it's a funny joke. I don't think it's hilarious. I think John Nintendo should be giving me my money back for this game. You know, believe what you want to believe, but I believe I was scammed. So do y'all want to hear the story of Hunter from Barbs? I'm on this Treasure Island server. I won't share the name of it just to respect everybody's privacy, but basically they have free treasure islands and there's a certain queue system that you get a dodo code with all in all very cool very fun and somebody shared the dodo code to the public so that people could get in without using the queue even though it's a free to join server which i just find like stupid like why would you do that why would you share it and ruin hi eloise bye eloise actually the green nose is kind of a serve i'm proud of you the green nose and the bangs wish that were me I wish I could be here, but I can't, and I have to accept that every day. Anyway, with the server, basically, somebody had shared the codes, right? And 
all of the islands got shut down for about maybe an hour, two hours. I don't even remember how long it was. The owners of the server went on an absolute manhunt for this person. Like, in every single channel, there was a notification in the ping in this Discord server. Have you seen Hunter from Barbs? Do you know anything about Hunter from Barbs? If you know anything, please open a ticket. We are trying to hunt him down. And when we find him, it's not gonna be pretty. Like, they made it sound like they were gonna publicly execute him. Like, he was about to get guillotined in front of us. It was hilarious. The messages were incredible. It was like, if you're a hunter from Bob, show yourself now or you will be in deep, deep trouble. The cops are on their way. This is Animal Crossing. Are they gonna kill him? Like, are they after Hunter from Barbs? Is Hunter from Barbs about to die? Hunter from Barbs, if you're watching this, I would like to interview you and I would like to read your biography if you have one. I'm just really interested to know more about you, honestly. Melba! Hi, my love. She's such a cutie. She is not the cutie I'm looking for, but I admire her. She reminds me of a Kinder Bueno bar. I ever had those, those are so good. Imagine like you don't know that you're not allowed to share dodo codes or something and you just get pinged in every single channel of a server being like, I'm coming to your house, I'm gonna fucking kill you. That's so terrifying. And then I got pinged like a day afterward for something Pokemon related. And I, I almost shit my pants. I thought I was the next hunter from Barb's even though I didn't do anything wrong. I did nothing. And I was like, well, this is it. My head rolling down town square right now. This ticket feels good. This is gonna be the one. I feel like this is the one. Well, it's not and I was wrong. I'm never trusting my gut again. I'm getting so many bottles on the one hunt where I said I wasn't gonna pick up any bottles and now I'm kind of pissed about it. Honestly. Wait, who's that? Punchy? Oh, oh, he's so sweet. I would. I really would take him, but I've had him before and I like, I don't really want to repeat villagers right now. Oh, that's so sad. I love Punchy. He's on the good weed. He really is. He's he's on another planet. I got the weirdest DM on Discord yesterday, and I get weird DMs every once in a while. Like, that's kind of- it just happens. Unfortunately, I wish it didn't, but also at the same time, it's so entertaining. And it was somebody who was in another server that I was in that I don't interact in much. If you want to interact with me, join the Amanda Files Patreon Discord server. Ahaha. <laughs> it was somebody- they just said hi, and I was like, hey, do you need help with something? Are you good? And they send me this picture, like this artsy picture. Renee, get your own unique name, okay? The cooler Renee actually owns it, and I think you should give it up. I, I think only one person can have that name, and it's not gonna be you. But it was a, like, color pencil, watercolory looking drawing, very stylized drawing, of Blaziken holding a bunch of Torchix, like Pokemon. And it was weird is a weird drawing like i can't explain why it was weird i don't know if it was just the fact that a rando sent it to me but it was weird i don't know who the original artist is and i would never want to like bang on their work or anything i'm sure it's beautiful but it just felt weird and i was like that's cool art because i think almost all art is cool art is subjective so i just said cool art and this person comes back with describe what's happening in the photo sir i don't think i want to do that actually i really don't think i want to do that why what are you going to use this information for? Are you writing a novel? If you're going to write a novel, at least credit me in it. At least put me as a co-author. I've ghostwritten three books. Come on. I want my spotlight for once. <laughs> Go to hell. I'm tired. What the- what? I hate him. He's stalked me on three different islands. Like, moves into every plot that I leave abandoned. I can't believe him. I'm tired of him. Who made the lines at Nintendo? Who do I need to fight? Hmm? Who? Because I'll do it. Will I win? Probably not, but I'll do it. But I don't know what that interaction was, and I- Do I want to know? Like, if anyone understands that, if anyone understands what was going on, please feel free to holler and let me know what's going on. Call in anything you want, honestly. I just like hearing from you guys. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm exhausted, in fact. I wish she would get the hint. I really do. Actually, I wish Wilbur would get the hint. This is not Octavian's fault. This is Wilbur's fault personally, and I am suing him for a million dollars and for emotional damage. Sitting here in game capture software watching my amount of storage on my computer go down as the hours tick up on how long I've been recording is actually hilarious because I just realized I fully have like eight videos saved right now on my laptop that shouldn't be there and are taking up like eight gigabytes of space each. That's uncomfortable. I should go delete those after I finish this, actually, and before I start editing. But you know what? My ADHD meds that I started taking, they didn't work, so... 
we'll see. We'll see what happens here, right? I think the plan is, because I'm getting tired, is <laughs> I might take the next good villager I find. Like, even if they're not perfect, I might take them. What do we think? Do we think that's a good idea? I think that's a good idea. I think it's time to, to be a little less picky, because I, I'm too picky right now. I'm way too picky. Are you kidding me? I found Olivia, and I was like, no. There's something wrong in yield head. Honestly. The audio is probably going to be so uneven because I don't understand this mic yet, which is really bad. Like, I know it's going to be so uneven. But it'll get better, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'll just keep it this way for fun. <laughs> Rhonda, get the hell out of here. What are you trying to be? Are you a ballet? She's a ballet teacher, right? Like, isn't she, though? She's a dance teacher, for sure, right? She looks like my old dance teacher. When I used to do dance, when I was like four or five, I had a dance teacher that looks just like her. I swear. Hope you're doing well, Miss Alex. Oh my god, it's Sally! I love Sally! Oh my god, I love Sally so much. Issue. She would be my third normal squirrel. I don't think I can. I think three normals is too many. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm going back on my promise to take the first good villager. I'm sorry, but like it doesn't work with the personalities. That's the only reason I'm not making excuses. I am. I'm definitely making excuses and you can call me out on that, but I'm trying to pretend I'm not making any excuses because that's probably a valid reason, right? The personalities, that's probably a valid reason. Totally. Totally. I'm completely in the right here and I'm not going to compromise on that. I'm not gonna go back on that. I'm correct. You know what? At this point, at least Peanut's gone. Even if I don't get the perfect villager, at least Peanut, the sadist, is gone. She hates me, personally. She despises me, actually. She's after me every day. She has stolen things from my house. She has eaten all the food in my fridge and taken money out of my piggy bank before, okay? Really, the purple plaid dress has not attracted anyone. The purple plaid has not had... Sprock... <sighs> I'm fine. Me saying I'm fine even though I just made the same growl that I make when I'm losing at Mario Kart when I'm definitely not fine. If you've ever seen me lose at Mario Kart before, you know I'm 100% not fine when I'm losing. I will burn a character's house down, I swear. Let me insert a photo of text my friend got in her Apple Watch, Heather, I love you, of me getting angry at Luigi because he beat me right at the last second when I was doing a 150cc cup. Back when I thought that was hard. And then I started doing the 200cc cups. Ooh, I'm angry, man. I've become a terrible person since I started trying to complete all of those, but I sacrifice a lot for my art, you know? <laughs> the art of winning at a Nintendo Switch game. Mm -hmm. That's my art, for sure. Ugh, I wish you weren't another normal baby. You're so cute. Her and Chai, though, girlfriends. Literally, they're perfect for each other, don't you think? Come on. It's so good. New happy home designer video where I um, make a house for tea and chai? Question mark? What do we think? I want to try streaming so bad, but my Mac does this thing where it randomly disconnects from the internet. Does anyone know how to fix that? Because if I could get a consistent connection to my internet, I would totally stream. But I can't seem to, like, I keep getting my internet dropped. Maybe it's just that my connection isn't strong enough. Because my connection is really bad, but I have gotten... You know, while it's connected, I've been able to stream before. Just fine, I think. I'm tired. I don't even have a reaction for her. Like, how am I supposed to react to that, huh? Is there a word for her? Is there anything you can say that would accurately sum Penelope up? No, there's not. I rest my case. Speaking of resting my case, is Ace Attorney good? I really want to get Ace Attorney. But I'm also not the best with visual novel games, unless they're like dating sims, because... I get bored if I have to read too much, and it also hurts my eyes if I have to read too much, which is obviously why I'm skipping through all of this dialogue. It's also boring as hell. I need to get a pro controller so bad, but I don't want to spend the money on it, frankly. Pro controllers are so expensive, but like also holding my Joy-Cons like this, my hands are gonna lock in place at one point, I swear. It's not good. It's bad, actually. It's really bad. Please, 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 please. Uh, I like Phoebe. Uh, no, sorry, Phoebe. I'm sorry. I'm really going back on it now. I really said, I'm gonna get the next good villager. Phoebe's good. Phoebe's not bad. But is she the one? No. Because I can't swallow my ego. And just get her. If you notice, I sound a lot more energetic than normal in this video. And, like, normal, it's because I finally remembered to take my Zimbalta and I'm feeling, like, 
better. <laughs> what a surprise that if I take the stuff I'm prescribed, I'll feel better. But I've been forgetting the past few days. <laughs> Med check if you haven't taken your meds today. Go take them. I love you. You're doing good. I'm, I'm talking a lot. I'm talking so much, which is actually a lot better for me, editing-wise, because I, then I don't have to edit a, as many silences, which is really good because silences are the death of me. I hate them so much. I've already said that, but I hate them so much. I'm never prepared to do this with Mac, and still he shows up. Still he talks to me. Still he comes onto these islands. He talks to Wilbur. He flies onto them. He knows I'm coming. He still does this. And you know, to me, that proves how he is as a person and why I shouldn't trust him. Do y'all listen to music while you villager hunt? Because I try to, but then when I'm listening to music, for some reason, I can't talk. Like, I can't speak while I'm listening to something. That goes for a TV show, too. Like, I can probably say a couple simple words, but my brain gets too overloaded with trying to hear and speak at the same time, and it just comes out as complete gibberish or I end up stuttering a lot. There's so many Joey haters on this earth, and I'm honestly not one of them. I think he's so cute. He's just a baby. Like, you're really gonna make fun of a baby? I say that like I wouldn't make fun of a baby in the right circumstances. I might. That is such a bad thing to say. Catch me in five years having to explain that when I'm, like, applying for a job. <laughs> it actually says here that you would make fun of a baby. Do you have anything to say about that? Do you have anything to say about the fact that you would actually insult a child? I wouldn't. Probably. I hope this pop filter is actually working because that's a problem I've been having with my earbuds because I make very sharp sounds when I'm talking unless I am uh, muttering, which I do a lot. But if I'm actually talking, like talking to the camera, I feel like I'm genuinely speaking well. I pop like crazy. It's like, you know? Who is it? Maybe I can take this first. Becky, Becky, nobody asked. You're the Walmart version of Quinn. Imagine having the strength every day to go outside looking like a Walmart version of Quinn. I couldn't do it. I actually salute Becky for that because, man, if Quinn was around and I looked like a shit version of her, I would change my entire style. I would never be seen with the purple again, okay? It's the exact same purple, too. It's not even a different shade. Like, they're the exact same colors. I can't imagine. I salute her every day, actually, so. Amelia is definitely Quinn's aunt, for sure. Quinn's aunt, definitely. You know, I've been villager hunting a couple times since the update came out, right? And basically, I've spent probably about 400 tickets, I would say, give or take, since November 3rd or whenever it came out, whenever it unofficially, officially released. And I have not seen Sheena one time. I have not seen Quinn one time. Where are these people? I heard reports of the new villagers being thrown at people and I just don't see it. Is it professional treatment? Did I do something wrong? Did I not do something right? What's the problem? Why don't I get that? Just wondering. Just wondering, John Nintendo. John Nintendo, if you're here, listen. Hey. <gasps> Is that Azalea? Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. Every day. That's... How many times am I gonna do this in this video? Seriously think it's a good villager and then I run up on them and it's literally not. How many times? By the way, I'm not like actually that dumb. I am very far away from my computer currently, which is where my best monitor color is. And I'm not, I'm not as dumb as you might think I am, but I am a little bit dumb because obviously anyone could see that that wasn't Azalea. <laughs> anyone with eyes. Unfortunately, I guess I don't count as anyone with eyes because I did not see that. Wow. Please, 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 please. Maybe I should stop begging at this point because I feel like I'm doing more harm than good. Come on, Peaches, Tank, are you kidding me? I'm definitely doing more harm than good. I'm not gonna beg anymore. John Nintendo, please. I'm begging you. I've been doing this for an hour. Over an hour, actually. Much over an hour. I don't even know how long it's been, John. Let me live. Please, I wanna go back to my family. I wanna come home from the war. And yet, here I am, pushing buttons. Actually, this is Wilbert's fault. Wilbert's? Wilbur's fault. Who the hell is Wilbert? Y'all remember that, like, meme from early 2020 that was like, Wilbert will break your game, and it was just Greta. Ew! Can't believe it's 2022 in like five days. That's terrifying, actually. Ugh. Can you believe we're still here and alive in 2022? I can't. I really can't.
actually it's not 2022 yet so <laughs> everybody put your heads together and maybe just maybe we can figure out how to end it before we reach 2022 i think that would be really cute nope man i hate tinnitus my ears are fully ringing while i'm recording right now and it's kind of annoying and i would like it to stop actually so if anybody could send the tonight as police to my ears, I would really appreciate it. How am I going to edit this down to a normal length? Huh? Is this going to be an hour long video? Because if it is, I'm not prepared for that, personally. I'm not prepared to edit that. Is this Clyde? Is that his name? Or Buck? I think it's Buck. It's Buck. Okay. Uh, I highly suggest not being puke green because that's actually disgusting. His, nick his catchphrase is partner. Not partner, it's partner, which is how I know that I can't trust him and I am probably going to regret ever stepping foot on this island. I don't like it. I don't want to hear it, I don't want to see it actually. It's making me uncomfortable and I think it is contributing to my mental illness. I don't know. I like him. He's really cute, but again, I have had him on another island. I actually like went for a dedicated Murphy hunt like last year at some point and I did find him. Which is basically the only time I've ever gone on a dedicated hunt and found someone, which is incredible. But I don't really want to do that again. I don't want to do the Murphy thing again, even though he's adorable and his house is really cute and he has a good character design. I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like having a man on my island right now that's him. And I'm tired of the cranky shenanigans, honestly. No offense to the people who love the crankies. Like, I respect you. I am just kind of a non-cranky stan except for the jocks the jocks can get out jocks are not cool or fun or funky or fresh and i do not respect any of them even rudy i don't respect rudy i love him i think he's adorable but does he earn my respect no ew that's disgusting who left their piece of fucking chewed up gum on the floor oh my god that is absolutely vile vile that she is here making me lightheaded, making me sick, making me physically ill, actually. Anacotti is not legal in these states, and I don't understand how Wilbur was even allowed to get her on the plane without getting hunted down, but you know, it's fine. I guess you can do that. Wilbur, I'm on to you. I understand you're smuggling outlaws. She's a criminal. I don't know what she did, but she did something. Oh my god! I'm taking Cube. I'm gonna take Cube. I- I really like Cube. I love him so much. His catchphrase is brain freeze. That's so sweet. I love him. Move on. I wanted a lazy because this is gonna be a park house. So, this is perfect. Thank you, Cube, my dear. Ugh. I cannot wait for you to come. We finally did it. It only took... Yikes. Uh, you know what? We're not gonna say how many tickets it took, actually, because I don't think that would help my case at all. Alright, I'm gonna end it here then, because we found someone. We won. We did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you had a really happy holiday. I hope you have a really gorgeous winter break if you're on it, or just a very gorgeous rest of your weekend. Thank you for sticking along with me. I hope you have a beautiful day. I will try and put the code for this dress in the description. If you liked the video, you could subscribe. I don't know. I'm not going to make you. I will see you next time, hopefully. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.